Yeah, so I'm certainly observing a level of frustration within local government in that they feel that they're not uh, being involved as much as they would like to be in the big sort of strategic planning decision making. I think they're also concerned that the resources that are available to them is not enough for them to be able to serve the level of growth that uh, state government has allocated to them. I think especially maybe we should say some of the high growth Western Sydney councils, the amount of revenue that council generates from, you know, your normal rate and development contributions and the like, they're nowhere uh, near enough for the councils to be able to serve the growing populations by providing local infrastructure, the footpaths, the parks and the facilities. So that's a real challenge. And in the more established areas, perhaps communities are uh, used to a certain lifestyle. Perhaps they've already got good access to services and, and facilities and jobs, and they're concerned about the prospect of change. So councils find themselves in this really difficult position in that, you know, they don't think that they can support the level of growth that the state government has allocated to them. And then at the same time, they've got communities that are opposed to that growth as well. What they tend to do then is to hold on to whatever power is available to them to block decisions. Then from a state government's point of view, there is that frustration that things are not occurring fast enough and their response to that is taking away the little power that local government has. And that becomes a self-perpetuating cycle, I suppose, and just adds to the frustration.